what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another bitcoin daily video today we got three amazing things for you number one we're doing a recap from friday's trade setups that we gave you guys for free on friday's video number two we are doing a full market analysis on bitcoin and uh, going all over what we think might happen and what's been going on with bitcoin and some of the other coins that we follow and number three we are giving you guys trade setups for this week so if you missed last week's or this weekend's profits don't worry we got new ones for you so let's jump right in guys make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell let's go Alrighty guys, so let's jump in. I hope you guys are enjoying these super smooth vi visuals here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we have a new camera. That's right, we've continued to make upgrades and we've continued to, um, you know, to improve our videos. So we're, we're just working on doing that. All right, so, um, what am I what am I looking at here all right here we go so so uh, first we're gonna go ahead and do a recap on uh, the trades that we gave you guys these are the trade setups we gave you guys on Friday um, and these are you know the results so um, if you took these trade setups this is the results you would have or you could have gotten depending where where you sold and where you entered right so this is just kind of a guesstimate of of what is or what could have been right so the first one was bitcoin we told you guys entry point between 18.7 18.1 if you guys took that trade then uh that ran up all the way to 19.4 thousand which would have been a 31.9 percent profit using 10x leverage now for all for all transparency reasons we are giving you guys also there was a, a stop out we did stop out on this trade for a five percent it was for 0.5 percent with 10x leverage that's five percent so we took a five percent loss on the initial entry then we re-entered it on the bounce and got made about a 32 percent profit on there um the next trade was ethereum the entry was that we gave you guys was 580 and it ran up to about 607 if we ran it to the top that would have been a 23 percent profit using five times leverage now the same thing here on the initial entry we stopped out for about 8.5 percent loss but then the winner made up for it and overall we made money on that one um bitcoin cash was another entry we gave you guys was that 280 support entry ran up to 293 um it would have been a 23 percent profit if you entered that litecoin uh, we gave you guys that $80 support entry and it ran up to about $86 guys. So that was about a 37 and a half percent profit. Um, XRP, this was the, the biggest winner of them all. It went down to about 54, 55 cents and ran to about 62. That would have been a 63% profit if you use 5X. Um, Chainlink went down to about 1250 and ran up to about 1350 that would have been a 40 percent profit with 5x and then tezos and neo as you guys can see did not hit our entries it didn't hit our support entries and it didn't hit our breakout entries either so we got no entries on those we got no results on those right so um let's jump right in guys uh as full disclaimer this is the second time we record this video because we just got a new camera and we kind of messed up the first time around because the audio was left on in the camera plus the audio was in the microphone and it just sounded fucking horrific <laughs> so we got to record this a second time so we might make this one a little shorter a little faster just because we're a little tired you know um but uh as you guys can see here we're looking at bitcoin currently it's still following the same exact uh pattern as you guys can see it's still within this pattern here and uh and it's been respecting it so uh from from what we can see there's just a bunch of consolidation under the all-time highs which is to be expected this is a very normal thing uh with anything that goes up to test the all-time highs 
prior to breaking it, there's usually a lot of consolidation, right? There's a lot of rejection, a lot of consolidation. So uh, there's just a lot of sellers, but there's a lot of buyers as well. It's all part of the process. So there's nothing to worry about, guys. It's still a pennant and it's still a bullish, right? So it's a, it's a flag and then a pennant um, and it's a bull flag. That's what it is. So we're, we're still expecting this to break up, um, you know, uh, because that's where the trend is going. So we expect a full breakout uh, eventually here. Uh, hopefully once it gets to this tip, as you guys can see, it has been consolidating and the consolidation range has got smaller and smaller. So as long as it keeps tightening up, uh, we can exp it'll it'll confirm that it's following this this uh, these supports and resistance line here, and uh, you know hopefully we see that breakup, um, and so that we can make some profits here. So what we're looking at for entries here, um, we're looking at this 50-day moving average as you guys can see here. Uh, it's right about it's currently right at that 19k range, right? So we're currently watching for new entries at 19,000 right now. And we're going to use about a $50 stop loss because the, the, this range right here is so small, right? So because the range is so small, we're expecting the top of this range to be around 19,300 if it doesn't break out. Right? So, um, so we want to be able to take profits at 19, one, 19, two and 19, three. And then if it breaks out, then we're probably going to set up a uh, new breakout trades above 19.5. And, um, and that'll be the, the next entries we have. So, uh, the two entries that we're looking at right now for this week is here at the 50 day moving average, as well as it's this, uh, ascending support, which is 19 K, um, and then above 19,500. Um, if it, if these do not hold and it goes lower, then we're looking at what the same levels we were watching this weekend, which was 18,800 and down all the way down to 18,500, right? So th that's a support area where you could buy. If you see a bounce anywhere there going back up, you could buy those entries and that's a support entry that you can use. Whew, that was a lot, right? <laughs> uh, let's go on to um, Ethereum. As you guys can see here, Ethereum. Ethereum has a basically a flat top pattern. That's what this is called. So uh, basically there's like a ascending support here and then there's just a flat top where it just keeps getting rejected, right? So that's exactly what we're looking at here. We see the ascending support. We see the flat top where we've got rejected one, two, three times on three different tests. Um, Ethereum is basically following Bitcoin uh, to some degree. It's very uh, correlated. So you have to, that's kind of what we're watching. Um, you can see that there's a moving average here in the same in these same areas. So 590 is probably a place where you can take an entry using about a five dollar stop. And then um, 600 is going to be your first target, 610 your second, 620 your third. Um, then the second breakout entry that we're looking for, the, well, the, the breakout entry we're looking at is above 620s. That's you see, that's the top of this flat top. So we want a breakout above 620. So you can set orders right above 620, or if you want to be safer, you can set it above 625. But that's the that's the two uh, entries we're watching. Um, if there is a dip for any reason and we break down below all these things, then we're looking at the same levels from the weekend, which was around 580. So we will, we want to see something like this where it drops, and then we want to enter on the bounce. We don't want to enter on the drop. Um, so that's pretty much it for Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, uh, Bitcoin Cash. I really don't like this uh, this pattern here, as you guys can see, it's just kind of been weird, right? So um, <clears throat> uh, I'm I'm really and you and you can see here as well the the moving averages have flipped. So uh, I would be looking for a break above the moving averages, and I'd like to see these moving averages flip back. Um, so the entry would have to probably be above 295 and since 295 is so close to 300, you might as well make that entry 300, right? Uh, cause of the, uh, psychological resistance there. So, uh, my breakout entry, the only entry that I'm currently looking at for Bitcoin cash is above $300. Um, Litecoin, 
Litecoin kind of, uh, it's it's not as bad as Bitcoin Cash. You see here we have the, the impulse move up and consolidation. So it is a bull flag. Uh, we need a breakout above these moving averages though. So that's similar to Bitcoin flat, uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm mixing up all these words. Um, so uh, the good thing is, wait. There is no good thing. So the moving averages are flipped as well. So we want to we want to see a breakout above the moving averages and a, and we want to see these moving averages break. And we probably want to see a break above this this uh, right here. So that's eighty seven dollars. So we need something above eighty seven uh, for a breakout here. Right. So above eighty seven is a breakout entry. Uh, we're not looking at to enter at any supports uh, as of right now, this moment, we're not looking at any supports. So eight, above 87 is the only entry that we're looking at as of today, this moment uh, for Litecoin. Um, XRP, as you guys can see, kind of a similar, very similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum and Litecoin. There is a big move up and then just a bunch of consolidation here. So um, I'm, I'm saying here that once we finally get this breakout above 75 we're going to hit one dollar um and then at one dollar i think we'll do kind of similar consolidation um so that's just kind of my guess here but uh but yeah for right now uh there's just a bunch of consolidation we're looking for a breakout above these the moving averages and of course we want these moving averages to flip so um so we're probably looking at something uh at a move you know if if it does respect this range and play the way it would play out if, if uh, this it's following this range then we should be expecting a move here soon because we're trending up we expect a move up so I want to see a break above the moving averages and I want to see a break above these highs right here so that'll set our breakout entry at 63 cents all right so 63 cents is what we're watching for a breakout entry here everything here is just too much consolidation you know i don't know what's gonna go where here just too much so above 63 will put us in the clear um and it'll put us at least on the road for uh to get to like 65 to 68 and if we were able to break that then we could look at 70 and 75. Um, so, uh, above 63 is what I'm looking at. No support entries as of now. Um, chain link, chain link, kind of a similar situation here. Um, not really interested in any supports here in this range, uh, for supports, I, it would have to fall back down to this range. So I'm just not interested in, in any of these supports right now, uh, because of the way that this pattern is right. So I'm looking for a breakout above this, these moving averages and above this. Um, so we're basically talking about a, a, a break above 1360. Um, and at that point, it would pretty much put our entry above $14. So, you know, we need a new high at this point. You see it ran up all the way to, to 16. Um, so above above probably 1425 honestly would be the safest one or even above uh, Above 15 is probably the safest one, but we will miss out on a lot here So you can use these moving averages as a signal to, for to entry um, so uh, I would say at least above $14 for a breakout entry there Tezos uh, kind of very similar pattern to Chainlink. Uh, not interested in any support entries here. Uh, money flow is going out of Tezos right now. Um, so I would need to see that money flow coming back in and a break of these moving averages plus a new high. So I'm probably looking at a break above 250 for a Tezos entry. Um, and then NEO, same thing. There's just the same pattern as you, as you guys can see. These three, these last three coins all have the same pattern. Uh, there's just a drop and a bunch of consolidation not really any movement in any direction uh so i'm gonna need to see here at least a break above 18 for the first possible entry but uh really i want to break above 19 um 1950 really uh but then 20 would be there so it just depends where you want to the, the but the first entry will be 18 
another entry will be 19 and then another the, another breakout entry will be 20. Um, I'm not doing any support entries here and that's pretty much it guys um, looking at at um, at the Bitcoin futures no gaps there but we, we got to remember this gap from last week so that's something we're just keeping an eye on um, but everything else looks fine alrighty guys that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please go ahead and hit that like button bloop, bloop, and then hit that subscribe as well if you're not subscribed yet bloop, bloop, and hit that notification bell bling, because it helps us continue to grow and reach more and more people which in turn makes us makes us really excited I get super excited when I see a lot of followers and views and it makes me want to make more videos and put more time into these videos and invest more money into the studio to create to, to you know uh, produce higher quality content so as you guys can see as we if you watch the videos from when we first started to where we're at now it's a huge difference and we you know we're just learning we've never done any type of videos you know so we're just learning as we go right now so um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this content drop a comment let us know what you think and um, that's pretty much it question of the day what camera do you guys think I bought I just got a new camera in the comments tell me what camera you think I bought whoever gets it right gets a free membership to our trading room for one month so go ahead and guess guys what camera do you think I bought um, that's pretty much it guys I have nothing else to say I am done I'm through I need water like I'm like about to die oh man I will see you guys mañana peace Love, I'm out.